Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my cooking show. Today we're going to make something sweet. It is going to be easy, fast and delicious. So what are we making today? What ingredients I'm going to use? Sugar. And uh, today I'm going to use uh, a, a white granulated sugar. A little bit of salt. Of course, baking soda. Just egg. And um, aquafaba. It's really easy to, to get because this comes from the can with uh, chickpeas. So basically you just uh, separate chickpeas from, from the liquid. You just add uh, with your pie, uh, add with your pie ingredients. And uh, I'm just going to add like this. I'm, I'm not going to beat it. I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm just going to add the way it is and it is not expensive because average, not an average uh, one can of chickpeas uh, costs about a dollar. I'm going to add a little bit of French vanilla um, extract as well. Uh, canola oil. Almond milk. As you see, those are very simple ingredients you can find at home. Perhaps you don't have almond milk um, because not everybody likes that. Um, you can substitute um, your uh, almond milk with any kind of vegan milk or you can use just water, cold water. It works well with recipe. So, let me just start working then. First, I'm going to add uh, my dry ingredients. So, uh, one cup of sugar is going in. A little bit of uh, salt. Just a little bit. and one teaspoon of baking soda. I will uh, mix it well. And now I will add about one and a half cup of just egg. Now I'm adding about three, four cup of aquafaba. About four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. of almond milk, one half cup of canola oil. I will uh, stir my ingredients very well right now. Yet. Now it's time to add all purpose flour uh, with my wet ingredients. Uh, first, I'm going to add one, one cup of flour. So in other words, I'm going to add it gradually one by one. 
they have one. I'm not sure how many cups I'm going to add. Um, I'm thinking maybe uh, two or three, but I'm going to play by ear. So let me just uh, mix that in well and see how much more I need. It is important that you uh, add your flour gradually to avoid too many lumps. From my experience, um, it is easier to work with when you add it gradually. Another one is going in. Let me just work with it uh, before I add third one. because my mixture is still very liquidy. Uh, however, the consistency of it should be um, pretty thick, not too thick, but uh, quite thick. The third cup is going in. You know, will work with it. becoming thick. Uh, consistency of my mixture is uh, perfect. You know what I forgot? I forgot to add my favorite thing, which is uh, vanilla extract. But it's never too late. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're talking. It smells amazing already. I know, I know, I always say it. But it's true. Now I'm going to use canola oil uh, to brush my baking pan. Just pour in a little bit. Brush. Brush the bottom of it. And, um, its sides as well. I'm trying to figure out what size it says in here. It's just in front of me. I guess I need a extra pair of glasses. Huh. Okay, so, so it's nine times 13 inch. Okay, I think it's just perfect size. I'm going to mix my mixture one more time and I will uh, pour it in my baking pan and I make sure to use all of it. You don't need to waste anything. Uh, the last thing um, before uh, before I bake it is to add mixture of frozen fruit uh, I'm going to check what is in there uh, it's uh, mostly blueberries the strawberries and mangoes are pretty much eaten really good stuff you know I myself I like to eat it like like that Oh, there's one mango, <laughs> maybe more than one. That's okay, it doesn't matter. I have a lot of blueberries here, so we'll do it. <laughs> but if you use any frozen fruit, you like you use fresh fruit if you want to. I mean, um, any other uh, fruit uh, suggestion suggestion for this recipe would be uh, actually any fruit, any fruit you have at home. It could be fresh apples, um, fresh strawberries or blueberries. Or I, I kind of like use frozen one for some reason. Don't ask me why, I don't know, it's just, 
I like it this way. But uh, from time to time, I use fresh butter. It always depends on what I have at home. Okay. Now my future pie is going in the oven uh, at 350. I'm going to check on there, but I, I said at least two, uh, two 45 minutes. I will play by ear. Uh, so I will see you when my cake is ready. It's looking incredible. Um, I'm going to show you how they look like now. Beautiful looking fruit pie. And it's smelling amazing. But this is not over yet because I need to do uh, my very last thing before uh, tasting my pie, which is just to add a little bit of cinnamon, which I'm going to also combine with sugar. Um, why? Or well, I'm going to say, why not? After all, they're supposed to be a, our sweet pie. I'm going to put one teaspoon of sugar in my bowl, in my container. And add with a uh, cinnamon, which is going to be uh, two, two teaspoons. Again, one teaspoon of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon because I want uh, to have a little bit of a cinnamon taste. So, two, two, there you go. Mm, that smells amazing. And the uh, cinnamon is very good for you. So. That's a, that's a good addition to my recipe. Wow. All right, I'm using my finger. All right, this is how my poem. I looks like after adding sugar cinnamon mixture with it. Rest time of the cooking show. It is still warm, so I'm sure it always tastes better when it's uh, and when it's colder, but I really have to keep going uh, with my show. So um, I'm just going to show you um, how the, before I taste, actually I'm going to show you how they looks like. Mm. Look at this beauty. Wow. Great looking fruit pie. Amazing. It is time for me to taste that. Um, yeah, it's getting, it's, it's colder right now. Um, 
as I said it before, um, Calder is always much better. But uh, you know, some people, some people prefer to eat it warm for some reason. I bet that's going to be great with cup coffee, tea, or even a glass of milk. So, um, if you decided to um, bake it. And just um, eat it the way it's convenient for you. All right, I'm talking too much and um, having like such a beautiful uh, uh, piece of, of pie in front of me. And um, you just have to start eating it. Wow, it's amazing. It's, wow, it is so, so delicious. I don't know, my family is going to love it. And it's sweet, and it's supposed to be sweet because that's a pie. So, so good. Wow. Ah, so. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Look at this beauty. If you like my recipe, if you like my pie, don't wait too long. Make it and uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. And please go vegan for animals. We'll see you next time in my new video. Have a great evening, everyone. And have a good weekend.